Today, we're off to a very, very difficult task. Building an actually good gaming PC with an RTX graphics card for 300 euros or less. Can we do it? So, let's set the rules first. Number one, no AMD RX cards. And yes, I know that usually AMD cards deliver better performance for the money, especially used. But believe me, some people to this day, when they hear AMD, they are like screaming for help or something like <laughs> They are genuinely afraid of AMD cards so yeah so for this reason no AMD RX cards only Nvidia RTX in this video second the budget is capped at 300 euros not more like it can be less of course but I honestly doubt that we'll be able to go much under the 300 third the PC must be good and what I mean by good is that it must be able to play the latest AAA games on 1080p and to make this more challenging we'll take the big daddy of AAA games Indiana Jones and and the great circle so if it doesn't run on 1080p and at least 60 fps this challenge will be considered a failure to be fair and also cs2 must be able to run on at least 200 fps just to ensure that we also have a pretty good cpu so yeah guys like no pentium force will be featured in this video unfortunately fourth rule no freebies like we will not pretend Oh my god, guys, someone threw away this brand new RTX 4070. They're so silly and I'm so lucky. Oh my god. I wish it was a 4080 though. And yeah, everything has to be bought. Even the easy to come buy for free stuff. So yeah, no free throwaway PC cases that carry COVID-20. And starting off with the processor, I went for a used Ryzen 5 36. Aha! I bet you were expecting me to pull up the good old 3600 or something but no i managed to get this ryzen 5 5500 used for 45 euros on an online marketplace so i went with that and at least it will be something more interesting Boring than the 3600 like i love that cpu but it's like toyota corolla of course like nothing wrong with it but like come, come on, man. on man. for the cooler i got this slightly defective amd rave spire cooler from the ryzen 7 5700 and i bought it because it's slightly bigger than the ones that come with the regular ryzen 5 and yeah just because the screw is slightly weird on this one i got it for five euros Bruh. Now, genuinely, the motherboard, like, finding the cheapest AM4 board was quite hard. Literally, no one wants to sell their AM4 boards for cheap, so I had to get creative. So, after lots of digging, I got this refurbished Biostar A520 board, which even came with a 3-month warranty. Woohoo! <laughs> I paid 41 euros and 79 cents, so we'll be generous today and round this up to 42 euros. And just to anyone curious, these refurbished boards come from the people who bought them new and something went wrong, as it is usually with Biostar products. And yeah, the warranty service probably replaced the board for the buyer with the new one or they refunded the money. And meanwhile, they managed to salvage this thing and that's how it ended up in my hands. As for the case, since I'm 100% going to flip this thing after the video, I went with the cheapest RGB case I could find. And this decent looking thing with three RGB fans in the front and one in the back set us back 40 V bucks. The storage of choice, or more like whatever was available, was this used Samsung 512 NVMe SSD, which was definitely not pulled out of a laptop. Well, it doesn't really matter where it came from because I got it for 20 euros and apparently it still has 99% of health left. And yeah, I know that the new ones with a three year warranty go for 30 euros, but we're on an money, extremely money, tight money. budget here, so. A little spoiler, if we went with a brand new SSD, we would have gone over budget. And same story with RAM, like okay, <laughs> obviously it was not pulled out of a laptop, but I got this pretty scuffed Corsair Vengeance 3000 MHz kit for 20 euros. And once again, I note that the brand new 3200 MHz RAM being priced at just 10 euros more, but like we really up, had to fit off. in our budget, guys. You go to your job. Ha, ha, ha.
And now the thing that you all are probably most curious about, the graphics card. Like, what has this dude managed to come up with? And yeah, this one was pretty tough because I really wanted to go with the RTX 3050 8 gig, but the prices are pretty absurd for that one. And same with the 2060 Supers, 2070s, 3060s. Like, yeah, they were out of reach for us. Like, I really believe that we can lowball a 3050 user to sell it to us, but probably since no one bought them, like there are no used 3050s on the market or at least everyone is holding on to them for some reason. I don't know. Yeah, so the only cheap RDX option I was realistically left with was by power of deduction RTX 2060. So yeah, I got this gigabyte RTX 2060 6 gigabyte WinForce. Oh my god, bro. Oh. That I managed to negotiate down to 105 euros. We've tested a couple of videos back discussing why no one wants to buy them used, and this helped me to get a quite a good deal on it. So it will be genuinely interesting if this thing paired with the 5500 can provide over 60 FPS on Indiana Jones and over 200 FPS in CS2, because I genuinely don't know the answer to that. Oh, and for the power supply. I gotta admit to you guys, I sorta cheated, okay? Uh, okay, okay, L let me explain. So basically, I love buying stuff in bulk because then the prices are way better than usual and you are buying from a wholesaler, not like a random person who wants to get rid of his stuff. So the risk of getting scammed or ripped off is much lower, at least from my experience. And yeah, so basically this thing happened that I struck a deal to buy a three... <laughs> I struck a deal to buy 350x mining power supplies for 17 euros each so yeah for 17 euros i got this 1600 watt 80 plus gold qualtech power supply but to get it for this price i bought 350 of these so oh are you crazy yeah which is not fair for most of you watching this as you're probably not going to buy 350 psus right away well no fucking shit but at the same time, this 2060 barely uses any power, so a random CX500, which are plentiful on a used marketplace for 15 euros, will do the job fine. So yeah, after assembling everything, we got this decent looking build with a whopping 1 euro budget to spare, lol. So I guess I can buy something nice for myself. Now it's time to see if we achieved our objectives, and I'm happy to report that on CS2, we definitely did, because on 1080p medium settings, we got over 200 FPS, and on 1440p medium, we just, just managed to scrape by on the benchmark map. So even on 1440p medium, we have achieved our objective. Now, what you could do better, especially if building something like this yourself, don't cheap out on the motherboard as much as I did, and just patiently wait for a decent D450 motherboard deal. Second, if you don't care about the aesthetics under your desk, just get a free throwaway case from somewhere, or even build it yourself because yeah the sole reason i got that fancy yeah uh, big air quotes new rgb case is because that thing has to be attractive for the potential buyers otherwise they sit for a very long time if the aesthetics aren't there and probably because right now behind the screen you're like just yelling bro stop yapping and just show what you got on indiana jones all right all right here we go so as you can see from the gameplay footage we're getting crispy 80 to 90 fps in the hallways and 60 during cutscenes but as you know the achilles heel of the 2060 is the 6 gigs of vram so 1080p low is as far as we can go here because the game crashes on medium settings or 1440p low settings so yeah <laughs> Now, to try out some actual ray tracing, I ran Cyberpunk on 1080p ray tracing low preset and natively we got around 50 FPS. So to get over 60 on average, we had to call in DLSS for help. And on quality preset, we got 60 FPS. And also I tested Fortnite because this one is also a very good indicator of the overall PC's combo capabilities. And I gotta say that on 1440p low, anti-SR 
on medium, we have experienced some micro setters, which were disappointing, not gonna lie. But at the same time, most of you are still on 1080p. So on 1080p low and TSR on medium, just look at the numbers we got. Quite impressive, am I right? So, in the end, I honestly think that we have managed to build a very solid and quite good looking PC, which I think in the end I will be able to sell for around 400. I think. Uh, we'll see. And definitely drop down in the comments what kinds of builds you have guys managed to get for around 300, because I like reading those stories. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Cheap bastard out.